Okay, um, here we have Shannon here, and last week we did her laser guided umbilical cord stem cell therapy for the five year old hemorrhagic stroke symptoms causing um, contracted fist, uh, peripheral neuropathy, sharp pain when it's cold in the uh, arm and leg, and um, a lot of neuropathy and pretty much paralysis of the left leg, okay? So last time we charted the progress after the laser and magnet therapy to loosen up the hand. And let's see if we notice any improvements one week after we uh, grafted the stem cells. So Shannon, if you wanna chime in, sure. any improvements you've noticed since we did the stem cells last week? Yes, I was telling um, the gentleman that helped me earlier yeah, Hans. that um, yeah. in the shower, I noticed when the cold water hits my left side, Usually I would freak out and it would be very painful. And today there was no pain whatsoever. None at all? No. So now you don't have to be afraid of taking a shower. Mm -mm. I would have to hold the water away from me. Okay. So that I would it doesn't matter if the water side. was warm or cold. That no, would cause pain. No, warm water was great. But it's cold, cold water. Oh, at first you had... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cold water was awful. It's kind of like there's needles hitting... Mm -hmm. And what part of your body did had that sharp pain? Yeah, the entire left side. Okay. And that's gone totally. Now it's gone. That's amazing. Now the water can hit and I don't freak out. Okay, all right. And then, um, what else? Oh, usually if I'm sitting and I turn the wrong way and my hand doesn't, my hand follows and I don't know it. Yeah, yeah. I jerk away in pain because okay. it's really painful. Now, um, I still turn the wrong way, uh -huh. but I don't, there's no pain there. Okay. And I feel my hand there and I just, now I can just move it and go on with whatever I was doing. Okay. And I've noticed my, children play sports that are outside so yeah. i vote when i'm cold that's when my arm will seize up yeah and i've known i've been cold in the last few days and my arm hasn't seized up it would actually flex like can it, you show it, it? it show would, me what it used to do when it it's would, cold out or just, i can't do it oh yeah yeah of course can, but my 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 fist would just get tighter and tighter uh -huh. and my arm would just lock up and, and there'd be pain very much pain like sharp so much needle that pain I'd be, even though i wanted to get in my car turn the heater on i re, i just would I wouldn't look forward to actually getting to my car and having to stand up because I'd have to move that arm. And okay, good. Now that pain isn't there anymore. All right. Um, my um, balance is a lot better. Okay. I have a dog that likes to take things that I forget are out, uh -huh. and I have to follow them around and take them back. Okay. And I've been doing that, and usually I feel like jittery and like I tilt back and forth, and I don't do that. So anymore. if I asked you to get up from this chair right now, you'd be able to get up on your own power? Oh yeah. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's find. Okay, let, let me see how you're mobilizing. Right. Oh, I just have to get my foot. Okay. Wow, and could you, can I see your gait? Oh, I don't have my key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the fact that, um, can you use that as a walker if he pulls it around? What, my wheelchair? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Does it I double as a walker? Um, okay. Not really, but... All right. But what have you noticed... Um, with your gait, um, so with the cane, yeah. That that I just I have a lot more strength in the side, so uh -huh. I I trust a little bit more. Okay, so even standing there, you feel more stable than before. Yes, I can stand longer wow. than I ever have been able to before. That's good. All right, go ahead and have a seat. All right, and are you able to open your hands still with your fingers? Uh huh. Yeah. So once we get it open. It's easier to stay open, right? Yes. So before that wouldn't that would be impossible to open it up like that. Yeah, no. Like your whole your whole strength. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Either yeah, because those tendons have been contracted so long, they're going to be shortened. So that's why Hans is working on you know lengthening those. Okay. And it probably feels good that you can stretch it out mm -hmm. like that, right? Good. We got them open. Okay. Um, what about the sensation in the left leg? Do you have more sensation feeling there yet? Yes. There's. It's not tingly anymore. It's, okay. It actually feels like foot again. All right. And I was telling Hans because he had to take my sock off. Yeah. Um, that normally, if someone would do that, they'd be taking their life into their own hands because you'd be kicking. My right, oh, my right foot might kick them, right. and um, he was safe and nothing happened to him. Um, Let's say so mm -hmm. the sensation is starting to rehabilitate in the leg. Yes. Uh, what about the movement? Can you do a leg extension now? Wow. So you feel 
a lot more stronger. What about the toe? Could you dorsiflex <coughs> it yet? Not yet. I've been okay. working on that. Not yeah. Really. I All mean, right. it's a little bit, but I don't okay. know if it's. Well, that's a drop it's... foot. We just got to keep on rehabilitating that nerve. Okay. Um, so, last Wednesday, after we did the cells, when do you start noticing these improvements? Um, I would say I started noticing them in the last couple days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Not on Wednesday, yeah. but maybe Saturday. Yeah, typically a lot of um, post-stroke patients, after they have the cells, they, they don't respond until like three months, and you're already yeah, making progresses. Yeah, okay. So what I want to do is, uh, if you're able to come here two or three times a week. I still want to um, extend you to do more rehab here. And of course, we're not going to charge you because we want to keep the cells growing. And then I'm going to give you a home. It's a, it's like a light stim unit. It's like the lead bed we put you on. And it's kind of like a home laser program. And I'm going to have you put it on like your arm and that part of your brain to get more nitric oxide nutrients and blood flow in that leg. Just so you can have something to do at home, okay? Okay. All right, and Dr. Park, can you give me one of those units so I could show her what it looks like? Actually, yeah. they gave me one. Oh, you got one already? Okay. Did they did they show you where to put the Yeah, you said to parts? put it on my, my hand and the back of my neck. Okay, now I'm going to have you also put it on the right um, prefrontal cortex where your motor cortex is. Okay, okay. And then um, the leg. I'll, I'll draw a diagram. Okay. But this is great. I'm excited with the, uh, with the progress we're making, and we'll keep on... Uh, doing the rehabilitation until we get more function back, all right? Okay. All right.